working with content is great. Helping people find that content is even better. I'm a huge fan of organizing content. So today we're going to take our blog and we're going to add some categories to it. We're going to display those categories in our blog entry. And with that, let's build. All right. Any blog that is worth its muster has content that is organized in categories. And that just makes it easier for both the user to be able to say, well, hey, I'm interested in X category. Let me see what other pieces of content are in there as well as for search engines um, and other users to be able to find the content that they need and boost your search results. So let us take a look at the documentation. So we're in the channel entries documentation. And what's great is that even within the channel entries, we have this if has categories and we can just loop through categories according to the channel category loop. And so let's find that real quick. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. And we get all of these variables here. So we can do category name. Um, these are our parameters. Let me actually scoop down to the variables. Uh, so we can get a description of these. Uh, you can assign categories, images, all of these sorts of things. So right now our blog, our blog loop has this little blog blurb that we were just kind of linking to the blog itself. Uh, but that's not very useful for the user because blog is right there, blog is right there, blog is right there. So let's actually create our very first category group. So first thing we'll do is on the back end of our site, we're gonna hit this categories button. And right now we see we've got empty category group. Let us create a group. All right, so we're gonna name our, blue, our, our group, excuse me, blog group. Um, and it gives you a couple options here. Um, we are not going to uh, use any of those right now. We're just going to save it. Great. All right, so let's actually go in and edit our group. If I click here on the actual blog group, I can see that I have no categories found. So let's create some categories. So same kind of situation as creating other channel content that we've done. Um, we have our name, which acts as our title in this situation. We have our URL title, which is the slugified title uh, that EE generates automatically, but you're welcome to um, adjust that yourself. We have a description, so... And if we wanted to, we can add uh, an image, we can add some parents, that kind of thing. And I'll show you parents in a second. All right, so we've done that. Let's actually do save and new, because we want to add a few of these here. We're gonna say cats because we have a couple pieces of content with our cats. Now we can see that we now have a parent category. Um, and so basically you can use your categories in a tree forms to be able to say, well, you know, underneath, you know, awesome is cats, dogs, birds. Underneath uh, birds are flying birds flightless birds, all those kind of things. Um, for our purposes here, we're just going to keep them all top level. So let me save and new. And we'll do a couple more. We'll do under construction. And great content. And then we'll save. And let's go back to see our blog group now. So we've got a couple of blogs here. I'm sorry, a couple categories here that are ready to go. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into our entries and let's actually take a look at our blogs. Actually, let me just limit that to blogs and let's take a look at one of these entries here. So this is our, have you seen this cat? Our entry right here on newest blog. And when I go over to categories, I still don't have anything assigned. So I need to actually in the channel, uh, you can either do this through the channel settings itself. So if I open up the channel settings, and I click on blog, then I can do that here. And this link, just in case you forget, takes you to the same place in one touch, which is nice. So I'll sign that blog. Let me save that. Perfect. And let me refresh my content. And now we have categories. So let's do this. Let's select a couple categories for each of our blogs. Oops, that is another great thing too. Let me point that out while we're here, is that if I need to add a category on the fly, 
I click that add category button and all of a sudden I'm saying gray cats and we're gonna assign that to a parent here save and then I save my entry perfect and let's go back through and add a couple more to our other blogs all right we've got our categories loaded in to our blog content here let us actually take a look at our index template here this is our little loop that we've got so in our little loop we do the three most recent posts this is where we added our snippet last time what we're going to do now is we're going to take these little blog links up here and we're going to change those into the category names so let's take a look at our template here so we're going to add that here i'm going to write a comment so we can see it nice and easy categories whoops if i could spell and categories all right and what we're going to do is follow right along with the documentation so um the dot whoops this goes right here so the first thing they did is if has categories that we go through that loop we'll uh, close the condition great and then what we'll do is we'll actually loop through the categories that are associated with the channel entry that we pulled in there the only issue that we have to change up here is our channel entries loop that is pulling in the blog also is disabling categories so let's get rid of that perfect and i'm going to put this all on one line because we're going to do something in a second there we go clear some white space so you can see it perfect now let's take a look at our template and you can see we've got blog, 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 blog. It's pulling in all of the categories, uh, or at least it's reduplicating the content in the loop. So let's change this here. This is going to be our category name. And then at the end here, we're going to do comma space, just to make the list look nice and pretty. We pull it in and we have a pretty list uh, with a comma at the end. So let's do this too. Um, most of Expression Engine's um, inherent loops, the loops that come native in there, have this backspace parameter. So if you're doing something and your HTML is set up well, um, you can do that backspace. We're in a backspace two to get rid of that comma and that space in the last loop. And let's refresh our content. Great, and now we have nice and beautiful loops displaying in our content. Now there's lots more that we can do with categories as well as displaying the nested categories, um, making like a tag cloud on the side, um, and most of all, and probably most important that we'll hit in another lesson once we hit routing, is we will make these so that when you click on one, it actually goes to the page for that category shows all of the the uh, content for that specific category but we'll hit that later for right now enjoy displaying your categories and we'll see you in the next one